dissolved will be so small that the amount of sodium ions dissolved will be so small that the concentration will be zero. It will approach zero. So that's an infinitely dilute solution, which is not practically possible because it can have such a small concentration, which will not uh, make us able to call it a dilute, uh, inf an infinitely dilute solution. But infinitely dilute solution is a theoretical phenomena where the amount dissolved is so small that the concentration can be taken as zero. Now, the next thing I've written over here that enthalpy change of hydration is always exothermic. Now, it's always exothermic because when Na plus gaseous ions are dissolved in water, they form ion dipole attractions with water molecules. So, you don't need to know right now what ion dipole interactions are, but they will form bonds with water molecules, these ions. So, as they form bonds with water molecules, uh, as I said, bond forming is always exothermic so uh, this uh, enthalpy change of hydration will always be exothermic now standard enthalpy change of solution the enthalpy change uh, or when an ionic solid is dissolved in excess water to form an infinitely dilute solution okay so before moving on let me also say that we must we must, I, for, I forgot to mention, but we must write under standard conditions because the word standard, it tells us that this process takes place and the enthalpy change uh, takes place under standard conditions in both these cases. The word standard is very important, under standard conditions. the standard conditions here as well so let me just quickly finish writing this and then we can move on with the definition of enthalpy change of solution so standard enthalpy change of solution is the enthalpy change when an ionic solid is dissolved in excess water to form an infinitely dilute solution. So now earlier we had Na plus for enthalpy change of hydration we had Na plus gas dissolved in excess water to form Na plus aqueous ions. But in this case I am dis so this was enthalpy change of hydration this was hydration this process but in enthalpy change of solution I am dissolving an ionic solid when an ionic solid so there should be another there is another thing missing uh, when one mole it has to be one mole of an ionic solid so one mole one mole of an ionic solid so NaCl solid dissolved in excess water to give NaCl aqueous so this this enthalpy change will be the enthalpy change of solution and it can also be written as NaCl solid because in solution the an ionic compound dissociates into ions so it can also be written as Na plus aqueous ions plus Cl negative aqueous ions. So in solution it dissociates an ionic compound dissociates into ions and therefore this becomes Na plus NaCl solid gives Na plus aqueous ions plus Cl negative aqueous ions. So this enthalpy change is the standard enthalpy change of solution. So th this is the difference between enthalpy change of hydration and enthalpy change of solution. And enthalpy change of solution can be either exothermic or endothermic. So, uh, so, so uh, as you have, as you can see over here, this means that it can be either bond forming and bond breaking, uh, both both taking place. But these values tell us a lot about the solubility of the compound. So, the more exothermic the enthalpy of solution, the more soluble the compound. So, this is very important to understand because we, when we will do, be doing we will be focusing more in this presentation on uh, standard enthalpy change of solution and hydration this will be very important because this the 
the value of enthalpy change, the sorry, the sign of enthalpy change, not the value, uh, the sign and the magnitude of the enthalpy change tells us a lot about the